Concepts central to socialism were tried in early America and failed to ward off starvation. Uh, we've all heard the story of the pilgrims, but most people probably don't know about how economics really played a big factor in the story of the pilgrims. Um, so, so let's talk about what happened. Of course, you all know that the pilgrims uh, came over to America uh, on the Mayflower. Uh, but what you may not know is that uh, that whole journey was started uh, by uh, the Council of New England, who were a, a group of businessmen that they called adventurers that were uh, basically financing the trip for the pilgrims. Well, initially the pilgrims uh, wanted to make sure that they maintained all their private property and their lands and everything w was privately held. However, at the last minute, one of these businessmen changed the, the deal and the pilgrims had to accept it because they really didn't have too many other options. But, but what the new deal was is that everyone would be laboring for a common storehouse in all six days of the week for labor would go towards that common storehouse. We must always be aware and prepared to detect and expose deception and attempts to undermine God's plan for our communities. Well, this was, uh, uh, again, something the pilgrims didn't want, but they were forced into. And, and it really came from a, um, a system that was called mercantilism at the day, which is very much like socialism today. And it came from a false sense of, of um, or a false view of the evils of profit. In other words, people thought making a profit was bad, um, even though that really isn't what scripture says. Forces of evil are always finding new ways to exploit vulnerabilities in any economic system and are particularly incentivized to do so in a system that ignores God. Providentially, the native people helped the pilgrims through a harrowing first two years. So what were the results of this common uh, storehouse concept? Well, in the first year, almost half the pilgrims died uh, because of various issues, but one of them was just a lack of produce. And uh, they, um, they did celebrate the uh, first Thanksgiving in 1621, the, the, the first harvest. However, it was mainly due to the Indians and, uh, who, who were friendly and they brought much of the food. So that was a, a providential uh, account that helped them out. And it was actually due to a providential account of a, the Indian called Squanto who had been taken to England previously and learned English but also became a Christian and he really helped the uh, pilgrims figure out how to plant the corn, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, the next year, the, uh, the, the circumstances were just as dire. Uh, people were starving, almost all the pilgrims were starving. And Governor Bradford soon realized that this wasn't working, they needed to do something else. So he looked at the situation and he realized that the people uh, tended to be lazy if they were working for a common storehouse and not working for themselves. Uh, and also there was a lot of resentment and ill will um, because you know everybody's pointing fingers at everybody else, well, you're not doing what you should be doing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and mainly he came, became convinced that private property was, uh, was the only way for a productive economy. Eventually, Governor Bradford rejected the forced socialism, which allowed the colony to flourish, even producing a surplus of food. Let's read his own words. The governor, with the advice of the chiefest among them, gave way that they should set corn every man for his own particular and in that regard, trust to themselves, and so assign to every family a parcel of land according to the proportion of their number. This had a very good success, for it made all hands very industrious, as as much more corn was planted than otherwise might have been by any means the governor or any other could use. The women now went willingly into the fields and took their little ones with them to set corn, which before would allege weakness and inability. 
whom to have compelled would have been thought great tyranny and oppression.